Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you just how easy it is to cook frozen fish cakes in the air fryer. I'm going to be using cod breaded fish cakes and I'm going to show you just how easy and simple it is to do them in the air fryer, how crispy they go even though they're just breaded and then you can be cooking them for dinner whenever you like. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. Now back to those fish cakes. I recommend a pair of scissors because they are fantastic for quickly getting in these bags because the biggest problem with breaded frozen food is the amount of crumbs you get in the bag and you do not want these making a mess of your air fryer basket because I've noticed that when I've asked people what they like and dislike about the air fryer, the one thing that is said every single time is I love my air fryer but I hate cleaning it. Open your air fryer basket and pop in some fish cakes. You can do as few or as many as you want. You know, I tend to go with whatever nicely fits without having to stack them because when you start stacking food in the air fryer, especially when it's breaded, you just do not get the same colour on the food, you know, and it just goes a bit rubbish. So best to make sure that they can all fit. So I've got the Philips Air Fryer XL. That's a pack of 10 cod fish fingers and I can comfortably fit eight in. So it's not good for 10, but you could do two batches if you wanted to, depending on how many people you feed in. Or another idea is, just keep the three fish cakes that are at that side, take out those and then load them up with some chips and you can do fish cake and chips. So now, let's put the air fryer on, shall we? You want to turn on your air fryer, you're looking for 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit, and a cook time of four minutes, and then press start. And the beeping, they've done the four minutes. And before you get super excited that fish cakes in the air fryer are done in just four minutes, sorry to disappoint, but it's four minutes on each side. So now a spoon is a fantastic way of doing this without burning yourself. And then you just want to get under them. They don't stick because it's breadcrumbs and they're frozen. And to be honest, they're not that hot. It depends on how good you are on touch. You can do it like I'm doing it, or you can go in like that and flip them instead. So there they are, they're flipped onto the other side. And then you can cook them for the next four minutes. But if you want them extra crispy, you can add some extra virgin olive oil spray, but I don't really feel it's it in the air fryer. So the wonderful, wonderful thing about the Philips Air Fryer XL is it keeps your cook time, so I don't need to um, redo it. I can just press start again. And we've beeped. Let's check on our fish cake, shall we? And wow. Eight perfectly cooked fish cakes in the air fryer. They're piping hot, so of course, like I just showed you, when we're turning them, you can use a large dessert spoon, just like that, for easily removing them from the air fryer basket. Plus it helps to keep the shape because if you just chuck the air fryer basket over, then quite a lot of them will break. And surprisingly, for breaded air fryer food, fish cakes cooked from frozen don't make much mess at all. And there you go, there's the fish cakes. I'm just gonna wait a minute for them to cool down a bit before I start tucking in. And I recommend you do the same yourself or choose your sauces or what you're going to have with them. So the fish cakes are a bit cooler now, so let's tuck in. And these are absolutely lovely. I love fish cakes and you know, 
husband's allergic to sage that means most fish cakes are off uh, the list but i'm quite surprised to see these ones just have parsley in them and absolutely no sage and tastes just as good and as you can see fish cakes in the air fryer this is so so easy and they're perfect for you doing at home in your air fryer thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the recipe this family you can find us on twitter facebook and pinterest we also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 